Hello and welcome, this is S.T. Rank. Today I'm playing some more Inscription Casey's Mod. This may be my final stream for this particular game. I'm interested in checking out a few others and I just noticed that this will be my 50th. So let's give it a run and see how it goes. All right, going for 100 points. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh. Gonna be hard to hit 100. Um, maybe we'll do a single candle and we'll take some of these off real quick about that. And let's see, well, we still need five more points, unfortunately. That makes it hard. Maybe we'll take, we'll leave that one on. There we go. All right. Let's do it. Maybe aqua squirrels would have uh, been a good one to keep though, however. Let's just wait and see. Maybe generating bees and other things can help save us though. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Why don't we get a beaver and a beehive mixed? That could be interesting for generating some stuff. And we'll go straight to the flame war. Try to get rid of one of our ringworms. Or we'll get one super buffed. Ugh, I clicked a whole lot, hoping that would trigger it to burn it, but it didn't work. <laughs> First totem fight. Worker ants. Let's send out our beehive just for fun. We'll get some bees and maybe put down our beaver. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Time for our mantis god. We're gonna lose our beaver. Darn it. Guess we can't leave it to him anymore. Alright. They're gonna outpace me here. That's not good. Let's get another card drawn. It's our more powerful ringworm. So we can block off some damage for a little bit at least. I don't know if we'll be able to recover from this. This is awfully disappointing. Um, we do have this other ringworm that we can put down though. Wow, this is mildly hilarious. Um, I don't think I'll be able to recover from that. In fact, I want to go back and change out my points just a little bit too. Because I think that I'd like to avoid aqua squirrels. Instead, we'll go something like this. Let's see, it puts us at 80. Do those, and how about, how about this? Yeah, there we go. Maybe this will be a little bit of a better run. I'm not sure Aqua Squirrels is ever gonna result in a win for us, because not having that blocking power is just really tough. Okay. Let's see, will it give me two pelts or just one? I think it only does one sometimes if I do a restart. That's okay. Let's do this one. All right, I'm gonna boost up one of our ringworms. Hopefully we'll get it flamed. Come on, come on. Ah, no, it's powerful again. Oh well. Okay. Let's do Mantis God. We'll try to get this over quickly. Nope, oh, the annoying sigil gets us. Darn it. I forgot about that quickly. 
Alright. Well, darn. We're about to have some problems here. So, let's see. I guess let's deploy our ringworm. There we go. Alright, what else we have? Another ringworm. The corpse maggots won't make it out in time. Um, wow. I don't think it will be able to come back from this. Um, once again, the first fight alluded to me. Let's try, let's try again. I'm gonna have to get something in attacks. I think that I'm just not drawing a good card for the uh, starter point, and that's what's kind of throwing stuff off. Okay. Um, let's just go with our moose buck. Why not? Notice how this time it didn't give me um, any pelt trade, so it must pay attention and then. Whoa, three ringworms. That's interesting. I wonder if it did that because of my restarts or something. Weird. I just really wanted to have a match that wasn't completely sideways at the beginning, so hopefully this will meet it. Alright, so they have Guardian on, so we'll go like that. Hopefully our annoying sigil won't get it in the way. Okay, our Mantis God should be able to take both of them out. There we go. All the worms. Nice. Alright, well, I want a match. <laughs> Alright, let's set up this way. Kaboom. Cockroach. I'll take that. Thank you. It also has, uh, let's see, what was the name of that sigil? Oh yeah, Fecundity. So that'll be interesting. I'll be generating them over and over, supposedly. Um, let's see. I guess we'll head to the left so we can hit the fire. Insect head. Heck yeah. All right. Looks like nothing to play right now. Raven egg and an elk fawn. Can you believe that? All right, here comes three damage on us right away. And let's see. Oh, we're still not getting anything good. That's not good. Moosebutt can help us out though. Um, however, the elk fawn's gonna get accelerated. So that's no good. We'll have to delay something in front of it too if we have enough. Alright, so let's see. I think we may have just enough to get this sorted, but I'm not positive. Fortunately that elf on is kind of on the not on a good spot. Hmm. Yeah, not a good situation. Let's just see how it pans out, but I think I've lost it. Okay, let's see. Well, I can put something down and we'll lose out um, some health on that, but we'll have the cockroach. Yeah, there we go. Maybe this will work. There we go. Okay. Now we'll take out the elk finally. Goodbye. And let's see. Nothing to play here. I think that'll complete the round, anyways. And then we get a couple extra teeth. Sweet. 
and keep marching towards the fire. Okay, bloodless. That would be fun to have. Now let's see if we can flame away on these guys real quick. There we go. Good. Now we could uh, power up one of our ringworms and uh, maybe get a two sigil situation going on. That'd be pretty sweet. Oops, you do. Uh, I should have known that the alpha would be coming there. Thankfully the raven egg. Well, I don't think it will block it now that I think about it. Let's just wait and see though. Okay. Shoot, we still may lose this. Darn. Um we have just enough to get our moose butt going, and that's gonna be it. Um, it should do a. Let's see. I think that we've lost. Let me double check. We'll do a hit, but then that's what they're gonna do theirs. Um, I may have misplaced it too, so. Man, bad luck today. Yeah, they're gonna exceed me. Um, let's see. Well, I could put down this ringworm and that would block nothing. So let's see what we get here. Another ringworm. <laughs> yeah, game over. Um, man, what a weird situation with this. Now, I wonder if this will reset that seemingly uh, that counter that I was talking about of where I was restarting. It looked like it was giving me less incentives for doing restarts. Bring me another. Yep. See, I got two rabbit pelts. So I have a feeling it, it does cost you if you uh, restart. Okay. Hmm. Let's do wolf cub. And we'll go with our auto deploy here. Maybe this will be a lucky run for a change. Really need my uh, worm to burn out in this first one, or else it just gets really tough. So let's fingers crossed here. Oh, gonna have a strong one. Okay, mole and an elk pawn. It's moving and waterborne. Ah, oh, that's not good. Um. Already a tough start. Let's put on our wolf cub. Okay, and I guess we can get our Mantis God online next. Good. I think it will get just enough in time to win here. There we go. Excellent. I just can't believe the poor luck I've had so far today. This has been a challenging night, considering I'm already on my third or fourth run here. This is kind of crazy. Do magpie. Being able to find cards is such a great ability. Ooh, dam builder. Yes. Maybe we'll get the canine head and that can apply to our wolf cub and still get the wolf cub some other ability. That'd be so cool. Alright. Mole. It's similar. This is the same fight that I just did. Interesting. Um. Well, fortunately, I don't want to put it 
put it down with the mole coming out. So maybe we'll do the ringworm so it takes that first hit off of the elk fawn. And maybe then I could do the mantis god so that it gets um, over there to the far end. And it'll take three hits as well and block that sparrow. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, get our magpie down using our squirrels and we'll find our wolf cub. There we are. And we'll go ahead and take it down. All right, between our wolf and mantis god, I think that we've got this in the bag. Let's go ahead and use our last item here just to get rid of it all. Okay, even though it's one excess, I'll take it. All right, let's see. Just don't have enough teeth to trade yet, so we would get just a card, but we might be able to complete our totem, which is pretty nice to have it this early. Alright, let's do Beehive. Ooh, there we go. This is what I was talking about. Dam building canines. So we get our wolf cub down right away. That would be awesome. And we can. So... Let's put it, let's see, they have Guardian on, so here we go. We'll just go ahead and do this. And they'll grow up into fighters. Oh yeah, perfect. Now we can put on our Mantis God and have it take out the Elk Fawn and that rabbit that's in the way. Sweet. Done and done. Good amount of excess teeth too. So I think there's a good chance if we draw that wolf cub, I'll be able to do an instant win with it. Hmm. Let's go with the pup. Possum, squirrel. Hmm, we'll do that. I like the sigil combo I have right now, so we'll go with this instead. Ah, oh, darn, I thought I already burnt this. Oh well. Let's see if we can burn this guy. Nope, oh, can't burn him. Alright, well, we may save that one and get us a 2 and 6 um, ringworm and just boost our um, mantis god as we can. It's not favorable, but. It's at least something, you know. Okay, so our ringworm buddy is here. We also have our wolf cub. So let's place let's place it. Hmm. I guess right here, and then we will put down our possum. There we go. Okay. And now we just start saving up our arsenal. And we can do... That'll be it for now. frog coming in. Wouldn't you know it. Let's put down our beehive. Take it on. Okay. And let's see. I guess now might be a good time to introduce our mantis god.
There we go. Alright. So, we need something to start attacking our strange frog there. Let's do... Don't want to lose a direwolf pup, though. Um, maybe this ringworm. There we go. Okay, good. This doesn't leave me with much in my hand, but it'll be good enough, I think. So we will get, I think, four cards out of uh, this trade, so should be just fine. Thinking about taking out the two lanes near the Mantis God, depending on what he puts down. And that's feeling pretty reasonable, actually. Um, yeah. So we'll just take out these, and that'll be enough to uh, cause a good fight to happen here. Um, we could play our mole to uh, block something out. We also have this stinky possum. Um, so I'll just play that and then we'll get our dire wolf pup on the board. If we can. There we go. Nice. And why not a sparrow? It's going to lose out though to the skunk stink, but that's alright. I'll just have it on there for fun. Kingfisher is like, I participated. <laughs> alright. Another fight down. Ooh, let's see. Another beaver. Could do a dire wolf. I think that... I would like to have the dire wolf with the auto deploy, perhaps. We'll steal that from the corpse maggots. Okay, there we go. Let's see, do I have all three items right now? No, I use my possum. That's what's missing. I think I'd rather go this way than to try to get another one okay now let's see could have bees within on something else but um, I might save that with undying or something what else could we do I really do like the idea of putting the auto deploy on our um, dire wolf that sounds pretty great. So let's do it. Be coming after our fallen with a vengeance. Oh, excellent. I think it, this may be a win already. So let's get our wolf cub down right away. And I think we can go ahead and lay down our Mantis God as well. Well, that's not cool, taking out my uh, wolf like that. Let's see. It's going to be a close one now. So if I do Aerial, I think that I would win. So let's do it. Just to be safe. Okay, I think I may have been running a risk of losing if I uh, hadn't have done that, so I think that overall that was the best thing. Um, let's go for the duplicate. I'd like to have a second Mantis God. Oh, no winners here. I guess I'll take the possum. All 
All right, Goopert. Better get this right. I want at least one attack power and one defense or I wouldn't be angry. Uh, okay, well, gave me a different sigil. I suppose I can accept that. <laughs> I can still apply my others, so maybe it'll work out. All right, so he's gonna be moving around. Interesting. All right, um, let's go from here. And we'll go ahead and get our other Mantis God down. Just to have a chance here. I think we're gonna need it. There we go. Oh, B. Bees. All right. We got a possum that we can play. So that's good. Um, possum may save the day here. Let's see. It's not feeling good though, I'll tell you that. Um, yep, I think in fact I am cooked, so, wow, what a rough set of runs, 100 points, I really can't believe how hard it's been, maybe we'll uh, adjust our settings here just a little bit more and see if we can come up with a better system, man, they're just eating me up, all right. So, I think annoying starters is part of what's taking me out so easily. So we'll keep it off. And maybe we'll stick with totem battles. It puts us just five away. I guess let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, not having annoying starters might make the difference. Let's try. And once again, I didn't get my uh, my uh, ringworms um, burnt, so that could have been part of the problem last time too. All right, I don't see a lot of good potential in this one, so I think I'm gonna go with beaver and We'll go with Dire Wolf too. And we'll start off with the Flame War. Oops. Come on, burn, burn. Yes. Perfect. That's what I was really hoping for. Okay. Elk Fawn and Mole. Well, we can do a Mantis God and uh, get this over with. Mostly over with, at least. Mole might be a problem. Oh. I think it went the wrong way. What are you doing, bud? Um, we'll take out our angry beaver friend here. All right, I guess we gotta start saving up for our dire wolf. We're gonna be in dire trouble here in a moment. All right, might as well pull a tooth too. Get rid of our other item. There we go. Insect time. Nice. Ah, ant spawner. Sounds interesting. Let's take it and uh, we'll see how things go.
All right, Raven Egg. Let's get it down so that Mantis God can uh, get started here. Okay. Unfortunately, we would lose our Mantis God, but to the sharp quills, but um, they didn't have time to get fully deployed. <laughs> All right, come on, Golden Pelt. Toss me a pelt. We'll do middle. Oh, we're current. Okay. Not what I was hoping for, but still, card's a card, right? Only two items this run. So tough. I think I'll just stick with the right side so I can go to the fire int. Another one of those annoying elk fawns. Full grown elk. And they're waterborne. And I'm in trouble. Alright. I guess we'll need to. Oh, well, we can toss out the beaver and then the frozen possum, I suppose. There we go. Totally sucks you can't get rid of the. Waterborne. I just feel like it's a little bit insane that you can't. Okay. There's our Mantis God. So I get us three and four, and that would be, I think, enough to turn this around. Jeez. That's a hard one. If I hadn't had the frozen possum, I think I would have been in big trouble, really. Alright, Tirewolf Pup. It's kind of rare, I think, to have three gaining events like that in a row. That's cool. Alright, we'll have some ant spawning canines. That'll be funny. Alright, let's boost up our mantis god. Yeah! Now if we get it on the board, we will be in Flavor Town. Still the only boss I fought so much because of all the resets. It's pretty funny. Alright, well we can take out two of the strange frogs if we had our other guy out, but we don't, so um, I guess we're going to have to put down our worker ant and uh, yeah, kind of hope for the best, I suppose. Alright, so when we put down the dire wolf pup and we'd be losing it, but we would spawn an ant out of this. Um, so they're going to do two damage right now, and I guess we're just going to have to take it because we don't really have another choice. Alright, dire wolf pup can uh, come out, however we would lose it. Um, so, well, they're going to do two damage. That's tough. So I could get it, but losing it's kind of a big deal. Um, if I wave the fan, we wouldn't really get ahead either. So Corpse Maggot takes that out, Strange Frog moves over after its attack, and we would still die, so I think that we just have to block one of these dudes, but it's just not good enough. Um, I guess let's spawn an ant, as silly as it is. Um, 
we'll have it in our hand and we'll be able to get a scroll next time. Okay. Yeah, like I said, pretty lame, but it's got to do what we got to do, I suppose. Oh, and we didn't have enough anyways. I don't know what I was thinking here. I should have done the airborne or something. Ah, <sighs> wow. Yeah, having a tough run, so let's give it another one. Tough, tough runs. I also haven't been playing as much this past week, so I blame it on my quickly deteriorating skills, apparently. Tadpole and Alpha. Alright. Let's burn up one of these ringworms, please. Thank you. Nope. Didn't get lucky. I think it for now on, if it's power, I'll I'll do it. And if it's health, I'll try burning it. But I don't know. It's just always hard to tell what to do when you uh, don't get it on that first one. I got you on this one. Still not enough to get us an alpha. <laughs> Gotta have those teeth, man. I wish it would just auto credit you a certain amount of teeth too if he does the surrender. Okay, I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, let's uh, see what we get here now. Ah, a millworm. That's not a good one. I guess it can serve as a little bit of a defense, though. Alright. Plus two on the health. So... I guess we'll try boosting it up, see if it goes away or not. Alright, good. Alright, a guardian pronghorn. Let's see. Hmm. A 
I could get our Mantis God down. However, we could wait until it moves, but anytime it moves, it's going to immediately come into our threat area. So maybe we should just go ahead and get our Mantis God down and get in three licks real quick. All right. Um, nothing to do yet. So unfortunately, we're going to see our Mantis God end here, but... That's okay. We'll have enough to deploy, I think, our mealworm. And, ah, now we have our tadpole. So, let's uh, put that under there. And, um, we have enough that we could play a mealworm. Let's see. Might as well. All right, Tadpole will turn into a frog and take out our Elk Fawn. Good, good. And looks like our Alphas are only an attack card left now. Well, we still have the Bullfrog, I guess. So we do kind of need to boost things up. And unfortunately, I just don't have enough juice here to cover things. Um, I mean, I can't get the Ringworm down and block the Pronghorn's attack, but this just isn't really gonna generate what we need I think um, okay let's see guess we'll play it somewhere like this give our um, frog some time here to generate stuff okay so if he did that let's see what would happen we'd get a hit there um, lose the squirrel, then I could play another one, hit the ringworm. I think I'm going to take his surrender offer because I'm a little bit afraid I'm not going to have what I need to win that. So, yeah, a little bit lame, but oh well. All right, tadpole army it is. Why not? <laughs> Maybe we'll get us a amphibian uh, totem that we can use. Okay, now we have a halfway viable Mantis God. We just need to get a power boost on it, and it'll be highly viable. All right, Tadpoles, come on. Yes. Man, this is a Tadpole army all of a sudden. Here we go. Ah, Wolf Cub backed by a wolf. How evil. All right, we'll just go ahead and block this guy off. Bullfrog's about to tear up that wolf cub. Nice. We don't even have time to play our alpha yet. That moves so quickly, wow. Alright, hopefully this is a power boost and I can get it on the Mantis God. Hmm. Let's go with K9. I just never really got into the pronghorns too much. They just never really appealed to me. Alright. Power boost. Um or health boost. Yes, we'll do it with the Mantis God. Why not? That way if we get a duplicate, it'll be likely that even if it drops a point, it would still be eight. So, okay, uh, I guess let's put this power on one of the tad tadpoles, um, cause why not? I mean, they're free, so might as well get tadpoles that are useful as, um, full-grown bullfrogs. Okay. Coyote and a pack mule coming in. The coyote is going to be mobile. Um, how about we play our tadpole and our ringworm so they can join in on the fun of attacking. Here we go. And let's see. I think I'll just need to start saving up cards because I don't want to 
um, lose them all here in a minute when we exceed. So it'll take us a moment. Hmm. Maybe playing the Mantis God would be a good idea right now. Only had it for a turn, but that will wipe off that other Cardi. Okay. And we could play down our tadpole. All right. Ooh, we can get us our dire wolf pup. So let's uh, get us a boosted one here. And we'll play a squirrel to block the bloodhounds advanced. Advance? Can't speak. All right. It should win it for us, I believe. We'll put down squirrels in both lanes to uh, prevent any damage. Cool. That was an interesting uh, arrangement there, I think. Hmm. Stinky tadpole. I like it. I'm going to do it. Okay, let's go with the mole. All right, so I could possibly get a booster here, or I could get a duplicate of something. I think a boost might make the most sense, so hopefully this is attack power, because if it is, I'll be set. Oh, it's not. Darn it. Um... So... Let's see. All right, maybe a waste, but we'll try it out. At least I have a high chance of being able to play it when it comes up and be set, you know? All right, tadpole and a skunk, but we got an elk on board already. Um, it's just not really cool. So let's do a ringworm to block it and then a tadpole over off to the side to uh, start laying down some damage, hopefully. Okay. And we could put down our stinky skunk to absorb some of the blow here. Hopefully we'll draw us a mantis god or something here in a moment. Our own mole. We better put it down to help us start blocking else we're going to be in trouble real soon. All right, and a tadpole with boost. Um, let's see. So it would go. Oh yeah, because it's free. I can't play it. Darn it! It's always a curse about these is that you can't make a sacrifice in order to use it. All right, uh, similar situation. So. All right, that sparrow has been chipping away at us. So, good, we got a Semantis God, so we could put down our Tadpole and boost it and take out some of these guys. Um, let me make sure I've got the order here correct. We want to boost the Ringworm and the Mantis God. There we go. Okay, I think we should be safe. Yep. Now we're good. Oh, Dire Wolf Pup can come in and play now. Wow, that's going to be a lot of attack power at once. So we get six, seven, and then nine more, so 16. Well, that fills up the cup pretty well. Alright, let's see. 
I guess we could do a ringworm sacrifice and that way we'd have a bone. But I should probably check out my uh, sigil situation. Maybe this Fukunity could be put on my uh, Mantis God if I have to. Um, what do we have? We had no sigil stuff. So I could get bone to help. Um, I think that I will do that because that would help prevent drawing a ringworm. It's a one blood at least and make it easier to get the uh, mealworm. Okay. Let's see. Two elk fawns moving in. I guess our mole could help. I don't know if that's the right move. We're going to be pressed for damage here. It's going to... They're going to flip over on the next turn too. So... I don't know. It's not looking too good. Um, I could do this. Get the dire wolf pup down. Um, however, they're going to be moving around. So that's not good. So let's do that. And... Um, yeah. We're just going to have to go from there, I guess. Wow. Wow. Yeah. There was really no winning there. Um, dang. Well, that's kind of a uh, rough way to wrap up things for this particular game. I was hoping to see uh, beating all of the Casey's mod, but I think overall it's been a pretty good blast. I had three entries left, and um, who knows? Maybe I'll swing back to it. But I'd really like to check out another game or two, so I think I'll probably call it quits for now. We only had a couple of challenges, but uh, maybe we'll do it some other time. That was our 50th stream of Inscription, so I've got a game in mind to install, and maybe uh, tomorrow we'll check it out. So we'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been STR Inc. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Inc., and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.